greeting and welcome all on behalf of National Instructional Media Institute, Chennai. I am G. Rajesh Varna from National Skill Training Institute, Chennai. Today we are going to see about the basic first aid treatment for electric shock and the treatment for electric burns and severe bleeding. At the end of this class you shall be able to state the first aid treatment for electric shock and you can able to state what is electric burns and the first aid treatment for electric burns and also able to describe severe bleeding and the first aid treatments for severe bleeding. As we discussed in our previous video, the electric current passes through the part of our body causes electric shock. The severity of the electric shock depends upon the magnitude of the current and the duration of the contact. Effects of electric shock at very low levels of current may only be an unpleasant tingling sensation but this itself may be sufficient to cause some persons to lose their balance and fall. At a higher level of current, the person receiving a shock may be thrown off his feet and will experience severe pain and possibly minor burns at the point of contact. At an excessive shock can also cause burning of the skin at the point of contact and may cause deeper burns. Let us see the first aid treatment for electric shock. If we or someone else have been shocked, what should we do? The question is like this. So, if we or someone else have been shocked, our immediate response can have a big impact on minimizing the severity of the accident. So, if assistance is at hand, so send for medical aid and carry on with the first aid treatment immediately. Make sure the victim is not in contact with the life supply. Remember one thing, prompt treatment is essential. First of all, remove the victim from the contact of supply. Then check for the victim's natural breathing and consciousness. If the casualty is unconscious but is breathing, loosen the clothing about the neck, chest and waist and place the casualty in the recovery position. If the victim is unconscious and not breathing, then take steps to apply artificial respiration resuscitation. Before starting artificial respiration, check the victim for injury and burns and then decide on the suitable method of artificial resuscitations. In case of injury or burns to the chest and our belly, follow the mouth to mouth method. In case of burns injury in the back side, follow Nelson's method. In case the mouth is closed tightly, use scuffers or Holgen Nelson method. These methods should be practiced promptly. Next one is electric burns and the first aid treatment for electric burns. Burns are the common injury in the accident of electric shock. So, burns are usually most severe at the point of contact with the electric source on the ground. Generally, hands, heels and head are the most common contact point of electric shock and where we could feel the severity of the electric burns. Burns are very painful. Electric burns on the victim may not cover a big area but may be deep seated. If the burn is small, cover the area with a clean sterile dressing if you can. Don't use band-aid or anything else that might stick to the burn. If a larger area of the body is burnt, do not give treatment except to exclude the air. Example. By covering with the clean paper or a clean cloth soaked in clean water. Actually this relieves the pain. Get expert help as quickly as possible. So now you understand the treatment for electric burns, right? After that we are going to see about the severe bleeding, the causes of severe bleeding and the first aid treatment for severe bleeding. Severe bleeding. Any wound which is bleeding forcefully, especially in the wrist, hand or fingers must be considered serious and must receive professional attention. As an immediate first aid measure, 
Pressure on the wound itself is the best mean of stopping the bleeding and avoiding infection. In case of severe bleeding, always make the patient to lie down and rest. If possible, raise the injured part above the level of the body. Then apply pressure to the wound to stop the bleeding. And important thing, call for medical assistant immediately. To control severe bleeding, squeeze together the sides of the wound. Apply pressure as long as it is necessary to stop the bleeding. When the bleeding has stopped, put a dressing over the wound and cover it with a pad of soft material. For an abdominal wound which may be caused by falling on a sharp tool, keep the patient bending over the wound to stop internal bleeding. In case of large wound, apply a clean pad and bandage firmly in the place. If bleeding is very severe, apply more than one dressing. Call for expert or doctor's help as soon as possible. Whatever the nature of the wound, our immediate prompt first aid action can lessen the severity of the injury. So act immediately. I hope now you all understand the first aid treatments for electric shock, electric burns and severe bleeding. So now try this following simple questions. We'll try. Thank you all and see you in our next video.